The Clark County School District is considering taking legal action against major social media companies. And thank you for joining us on Channel 13 Live at 6. I'm Trisha Keen. And I'm Joe Moeller. Lawyers claim the apps are addictive and are causing a spike in mental health issues. Well, tomorrow night, CCSD will consider this lawsuit. I spoke to one lawyer involved about it. It causes um, just a a ripple effect through schools. Attorney Joseph Van Zandt with Beasley Allen Law Firm says school districts across the country are looking to take on major social media companies such as Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, YouTube, and Snapchat. He says the companies are targeting minors and it is taking a toll on their mental health. Thursday, the Clark County School District will consider joining the litigation. One of our primary complaints that we've alleged both in federal and state court involves social media companies intentionally designing their products to be addictive. Van Zandt says that is to increase advertising revenue. And it's not only the design features of the addiction, but it's also the content. Um, these companies use algorithms that are also designed to keep people, um, especially youth, on the platform as long as, as possible. He says school districts are seeing a spike in students dealing with mental health issues like self-harm or eating disorders, and that the apps are impacting school districts as well. Not just harm kids, but also harm schools, um, school resources, um, budgets manpower is 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 limited and when schools have to divert significant resources to deal with uh, problems caused by companies that are out there preying on children um, that that's a problem he says this is similar to the lawsuit filed in recent years against e-cigarette company jewel claiming minors were suffering from the negative impact of the products and school districts were dealing with the epidemic recently clark county has been dealing with issues with social media posts including viral social media threats that prompted many students to stay home from school i can't say it doesn't haunt me a little bit. Carl Meissner is a CCSD parent and president of KMJ Marketing Company. He uses social media on a regular basis and says he has to have conversations with his child about it, especially the posts. If you'd asked me 10 years ago, I would say no, but you know, certainly the world's changed quite a bit since then. And uh, being that we're involved with social media and what we do here, that's a little more top of mind. A handful of law firms are representing school districts around the country in this social media lawsuit. The Clark County School Board will consider joining the suit tomorrow night.